Yes, hello and welcome to Hannibal's Kitchen. Today uh, I will make a recipe I found in a Facebook group. It's called uh, Kochen mit Katja, Kochen mit Leidenschaft, um, where people exchange recipes and post pictures. And I saw a nice recipe for an apple cake upside down. And I never did an apple cake upside down. Well, I did once, but it wasn't that nice. So I will try it today one more time, apple cake upside down. And here are the ingredients and let's get started. Upside down. Boy to me. Inside out. Boy to me. Upside down. Get all your ingredients first together and let them get for one hour to room temperature except the 20 grams of butter we need cold. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees and take out the cores of your apples and peel them. The recipe speaks for finger thick slices, I decided for even thinner slices and then you rub off the skin of your lemon and squeeze out the juice. The juice you can give over your apple slices for they don't turn brown. Butter your form which you put the paper on the bottom before. Shake a little flour through the form and then put honey on the bottom three tablespoons I used a little bit more to even get the honey in the corners and then you place your cranberries and your nuts and your 20 gram of butter you put in tiny flakes all over the surface actually the butter should came before the cranberries and the nuts I just forgot it now we lay in our apple slices and then we get to prepare the dough giving butter sugar, vanilla sugar and salt together and stir it to creamy consistency. Then you add egg per egg all alone, egg and stir, egg and stir, egg and stir. Then we add flour, the baking powder, the orange zest, the ground hazelnuts and the eggnog and you're gonna process it to a homogenic dough, place it on top of your apple slices, brush it carefully to an even surface and put it into the oven for about 30 minutes or 35 depending on your oven. When done, take out and let cool down 20 minutes in the form, then you will eat release the outer ring and flip it over to the tray and release carefully paper on the top if you want you can powder it with some powder sugar on up tea and we have a dessert I would say let's let's just just eat it It's lovely. It's fruity. It's juicy. Mm. The dough is tender, not too dry. Mm. Oh yes. Mm. It's so nice because you have different um, experiences while you eat this. Because some sometimes you have a cranberry, mm. Mm. and you taste the cranberry, or you don't, and you taste a little bit more the the egg liquor. Mm. The original recipe was with, was with almonds. I <laughs> I decided to do hazelnuts. I I prefer hazelnuts. Mm. I think good choice. Mm. Mm. So that is very tasty. Mm. And the honey on the top. Mm. Delicious. Mm. If you like this video, please please give me a like for my video. Mm. 
And if you are not turned now, please subscribe to my channel. Mm. Have a look on my Instagram. Also very nice. A beautiful pictures. Pictures from food. And some of my art hobbies, which are not seen on YouTube so far. Mm. And see you next week with a deliciously hot bean stew.